Hi there and welcome back to Baldur's Gate. I'm Baron what would and you I told you we would, we would climb up those stairs in the next video, but I lied. We Very will leave. Well. We will return to the inn. Nature's servant awaits. Heal yourself. Thy temper shields. falls and The wind still trump about. Your wish? Okay, let's get in here. If you insist. And rest. Oh, my right. old girl's as clean as an elven arse. Yeah, well. Uh. Rest. What? Why doesn't it work? My hotel's as clean as an elven arse. My hotel's as clean as an elven arse. You close your eyes tonight, and visions of candle keep swim into view. As you pass through the gates of the Citadel, there is a flash of memory, and you are a child of only a few seasons once more. At your side is Borion, gray-haired even all those years ago. How old must he have been to age so little in the time since? Aged as he ever was, you still have to run to keep up with him. He has an important meeting with Ulrond, the Keeper of the Tomes. An important meeting about you. Funny, you don't remember it. As you stand outside the doors of the inner keep, you can hear the shouting from within. Gorion seldom raised his voice, though you did not care to listen to the discussions at your previous stops either. As you trace patterns in the water of a fountain, a reflection distracts you from the argument. A large raven has perched atop a stone wall and stares directly at you with huge black eyes. You stare back through the mirror of the water, and are suddenly afraid to meet the bird's gaze any other way. It has claws for feet. You think to yourself, little skeletal claws. The doors of the keep suddenly swing open, and Ulrunt storms out. He glances at you for a moment, but looks away as he speaks. You both can stay, he sneers, but mark my words, that child will be the death of you. A flash of memory once more, and Gorion walks out of the keep as he is today, dead. You drop your gaze back to the water so as not to see. The raven is gone, but your own image remains. Your eyes are black, like those of a bird. Like father, like child, the reflection says. You wake with a yell, predictably unrested. Okay. And we got another special ability ability draw upon holy might. Mm, useful. Hurry up! That will increase our strength some. What would you have me do if you insist? Okay, now we will re enter the library. If you insist. Do we have those letters? Yes, we do have them. And do we need projectiles? 
arrow plus two, arrow plus two. No, everything is fine. Your wish? So, let's get in here again. You must gather your party before venturing forth. No shit, really? Okay. Very well. Now we will climb those stairs. Our library is a man's harem of knowledge. Hello, hey, Witcher Blomi. It is good to see you here once again. A pity you could not have returned during a more restful time. Uh, why? What is going on that would cause you such stress? Oh, it's nothing, I'm sure. It's just that, well, things just seem a little strange around here. Those decidedly unmerchant like merchants for one. And some of our own monks are acting odd as well. One fellow in particular. Really? And who would that be? Well, there's this fellow named Coveras. I assume he is a visiting sage of some sort, but he seems more interested in our guests than the tomes. He makes me nervous. I think he's had the same effect on others as well. Young Schistal has been out of sorts for days now. He is not quite thick-skinned as I. You remember how nervous he used to be? He's quite the opposite now. Seems like a totally different person. I worry about him. I should go. It has been nice speaking with you. Okay. So we Hurry move up! On. Very well. What the fuck? Get out of my way, man. I'm not going to check all those uh, books. Uh, here, no, book stands. Okay, so there's nothing of value in it. Just, you know, useless books. You History need something of North, stranger. History of the Shadowdale. Coveras. Ah, oh, I thought I might find you somewhere and around somewhere around here. Allow me to introduce myself. Please do. My name is Coveras. I used to work for your father, running messages to his harper friends in Waterdeep. Before he passed on, he entrusted this ring to me and asked that I give it to you should evil ever befall him. Will you take it? Hmm. And what evil befell him, Coveras? You were there. You saw it all. A woman, an armored figure, two ogres wielding clubs. But Gorion's pretty magic was of little use against them, was it not? And you, you fled with your tail between your legs, hiding amidst the trees until dawn broke. And now it comes full circle, doesn't it? The Iron Throne is so close that you can almost touch them and wreck your revenge for that night. You're right, Coveros. I was there. Myself, my father, and four others who tried to kill us. Who tried to kill us? Who tried to kill us? Where were you, if you know so much? If you be so void of trust, I am surprised you made it this far. It is of little matter. Go seek your vengeance or your doom at the hand of the Iron Throne. I wash my hands of it. Yeah, well, actually, Coveros is Saravok backwards. Go fuck yourself and get a better, um, how do you say, tunnel gun. In the year of the turrets. What was that? The Lord of Murder shall perish. Oh no. But in his doom he shall spawn the a score singer. of mortal progeny. Oh. Chaos will be sown from their passage. So saith the wise Alondo. You could go and fuck yourself too. Hey, would you blow me? You look distressed. What is a child? Uh, there's trouble here, Chanter. You must help me. And first of all, you must stop singing. You are right, I have felt it too. Pray tell me how this aging frame can help you. As Chanter, you, have the hi you know the history of this keep better than any other. I have grown up here, and I have played within these walls. 
But there were many places I was never allowed to go. I am older now and I will go where I must. But please, are there any places in this keep which I was never told? But, but what right have you to ask that child? I'm not a child anymore, Chanter. The entire keep is in danger, even its most secret and sacred places. Please, Chanter, Karain would have it so. I am growing old and the young are not so young anymore. Nor are they carefree, so carefree. How long do this hear the one who founded this fortress of knowledge and whose prophecies I chant each day? He is entombed deep in the bowels of this place. I tell you this hay will travel me because you are right. This is time you knew. I beg of you in Gorion's name do not venture into those trapped and warped halls unless some higher power than myself bids you go. Your stepfather would never forgive me for your loss. I must go now, child. Hey, would you blow me? It is time to chant the seer's prophecies as I always have. Yep, good riddance. So, anything else here? <laughs> Lots of people running around. Oh, those yellow guys are just readers. They don't have anything of importance to say. <coughs> okay. I guess there's nothing here. Yeah, and that Sarawak guy, he should really, you know, get better cover or, you know, better secret identity. Not just, you know, what would you have spell me your do? name backwards and think nobody will recognize you. That is just plain stupid. So, on we go. There's another one of those readers, I guess. Yeah. But nothing of use. Okay. So let's climb up. Hurry up! <laughs> let's Very warm well. up here. No, excuse me, but I'm late for my classes. Ah, that is Shistal. Leave me be, stranger. I've work to do. Hmm, all the other monks gave me a warm welcome. Why not you? I have no interest in idle chatter. If you knew the daily routine of a monk, you would understand. I know the routine well. I lived here for many years. It is you who should know me. Of course, it is just that I did not recognize your face. I am just not acquainted with all the monks quite yet. I was not a monk. I think you are lying. You would do well to leave me be, I tire of this game. Take your questions and go away, monkey. Oh no, I have many more questions to ask. For starters, who are you really? I am your death, foolish meat. Okay. 
What would you have me do? What's that? I create a doppelganger. How about we attack you? And I move away. All right, all right. Oh, dead. Oh, 4,000 XP. That's rather awesome. Gonna jump. Ah, keep it. What else do we get here? Empty. Yeah, all those uh, cabinets and chests. They don't contain anything useful. Hey, I clicked and you don't move. You Why is that? You are a valuable companion. Thank you for your kind words. Get a room. Get the fuck in, okay? Ryan would be proud of your actions. Really? There's really nothing in it. I already checked that. Because it's actually the second time I'm playing this. Uh, yeah. Didn't Hurry look out up. the first time. I forgot to actually visit, um, you know, the inn. And uh, when I realized that, I wanted to get out. But then the watchers appeared and uh, it was bad. Our library is a man's harem of knowledge. Really? Hey, Mr. Blumi, good to see you. I trust you are well? Hmm, as well as can be expected, Piato. How have you been? Oh, I pine for the days when you and Garan still called Candlekeep home. You brought a bit of energy to these walls. I have, I shall have to speak with you uh, later at length. But for now, you must rest. Grand's old room is the third on the south corridor, just as it was. I think there are a few things for you there as well. We shall see you later. What would you have me do? Okay, I guess it's that one here. If you insist. So we have money and the letter. And that is empty. So what does the letter say? I already had that. Hello, hey, would you blow me? If you are reading this, it means I have met an untimely death. I would tell you not to grieve for me, but I feel much better thinking that you would. There are things I must tell you in this letter that I might have told you before. However, if my death came too soon, then I would have never been given a chance. First off, I'm not your biological father, for that extinction lies with an entity known as Baal. The Baal that I speak of is the one you know of as a divinity. In the crisis known as the time of troubles, <coughs> when the gods walked Pharaoh and Baal was also forced into a mortal shell. He was somehow forewarned of the death that awaited him during this time. For reasons unknown to me, he sought out women of every race and forced himself upon them. Your mother was one of these women, and as you know, she died in childbirth. I had been her friend and an occasional lover. I felt obli obliged to raise you as my own. I have ever always thought of you as my child, and I hope you still think of me as your father. Uh, you are a special child. The blood of the gods runs through your veins. If you make use of our extensive library, you will find that our founder, Lando, has many prophecies concerning the coming of the spawn of Baal. There are many who will want to use you for their own purposes. One man who calls himself Saravok is the worst danger. He has studied here at Candlekeep and thus knows a great deal about your history and who you are. Right. Okay, Saravok. Yeah, we already met him. Sucker. So let's go down again. Oh, I guess we have to move away first. 
Because there's still that matter of all the right, leader of the right. Iron Throne. We have to deal with them. Or I want to deal with them. <coughs> here it is. So we form up here. Form all up right, here. All right. I don't have time to associate with drivel. My dear fellows, you must realize that it is manners that make the man. So would you kindly prove that you are generous gentlemen by leaving? The right people can afford to be rude, but it is not you. Leave now before my irate companion Bruno lets his temper get ahead of his reason. Hmm, you are the leaders of the Iron Throne. We are the ones who have caused you so much trouble over the past weeks. We know all about you, and soon so will Duke Elton. You are the... and you're stupid enough to admit this? Well, my young friend, you might find safety within the library, but once you've left here, there will be no place for you to run. How about we just end all our problems right here and now? Draw steel and let's sort everything out with the sharp of our blades. This is most distasteful. I have always known that rudeness is how the weak make themselves look strong. Even if you were to somehow beat us in battle, how would you escape the keep? Or did you think that the monks would let you go about murdering everyone within their keep? Actually, I just plan on murdering you. Crush them mutton heads, boys. Okay. Hurry up! How about we kill you? <laughs> I guess I have to have you win. Yay, first one dead. No, every fucking body, not only me. Hurry up! Wait, I'm petrified? Or oh, what is that? Health? I'm health. How awesome is that? Can I help you? How about you form I'll do my best. No! And now we kill you. No! You have need you of me? Use the sword. I can't. I can't really not in this. No! I'm getting weak. No! I'll need a healer. If <coughs> <coughs> my yeah. blade will cut you down to stop. <gasps> That worked nicely. So, what did we get? Okay, here the fight starts. We get 975 for real time. We get 1200 for Castor. One thousand four hundred for Brunos and four thousand for Tooth. Reputation is still twenty. Good. And I'm no longer okay. Yes, no O oh omnipresent authority figure. Here you are. <laughs> And the light one. Servant away. What would you have me do? All right, all right. Thy temper shield! Ah, 
Okay, what do we get? Potion of fire giant strength. I don't need that. Enemy sights it. Where? Who? Oh fuck, the priest of Ogma. That's not nice. I don't want to kill up! him. If we would kill him, our reputation would drop. Let's not do that. Instead of that, we will rather move on. Get the fuck out of my way, man. I don't really know why the priest is so pissed. I should have joined the army. Hey, Watcher Blow Me, stay, stay where you are. I do not wish to harm you, but you must come with me. You are to be questioned regarding the murder of the Iron Throne leaders. It wasn't murder, it was a fair fight. They were apparently killed not an hour ago, and an item of yours was found with the bodies. Please, you will get a fair trail if you come quietly. I will use force if I must. Like you have a chance. Alright, I surrender. Take me to Alrond or Thethra so I can prove my innocence. I'm glad to hear that. I did not wish to harm you. I am sure this mess will be cleared up soon. And now we are in jail or what, but we still have our equipment, so... Hmm. The headsman will have a difficult time with us. Someone disturbs me. So, hey, would you blow me? You have sullied your father's name by defiling this home and bringing ruin to the peace that had lasted for centuries. I spit on you and all of your friends. Your transgressions will be punished in the most severe form. I formally accuse you of the murders of Bruno Kostak and Rialta Anchev. Ah, but we, I have done nothing wrong. Why have you accused me of such a thing? You were seen fleeing the site of the murder by a guest known as Coveras. Aha! Uh -huh. Saravok. From everything we have seen and found, it's not hard to figure what your purpose was. From what I have been told, you have been trying to place all the misfortune of the Sword Coast squarely on the shoulders of the Iron Throne. I assume you and your friends are assassins and the employer of arm. Um, ah! Ridiculous. Perhaps you were sent up north to create discord in the region before an ambush invasion. It matters little. You and your friends are to be sent to Baldur's Gate where an appropriate punishment will be administered. Like hell. What now? Do I get control back? Greetings, young one. Hello, young one. I'm sorry to see, in s see thee in such terrible circumstances. I know thee well enough to see that you have been falsely accused. Tomorrow, Alrond will most likely sentence thee to be sent to Baldur's Gate. There, thou wouldst receive the death penalty for these actions. I know that Garion would not want to see his only child killed a scant few weeks after his own death. It is a favor to his memory that I will help thee escape. Make thy way through the catacombs beneath the library, but disturb them not. I have your possessions with me. You must take them and go with haste. Mm. Do you know anyone by the name of Coveras? I know of no one named Coveras, but Coveras is the reverse of Saravok, a young man who accompanied the leaders of the Iron Throne when they first came. I know not where he has gone. <coughs> awesome. It is now time for you to go, hey, would you blow me? I can teleport you to the secret room that leads to the catacombs, but from there you are on your own. You must be careful within the catacombs, as there are many guardians and traps, and perhaps whoever planned these murders. However dangerous the catacombs may be, they are safer. They are a safer alternative to Ulleron's wrath. Why can't you teleport us outside of Candlekeep? Colonel Keep is protected by powerful runes that seal it from divin divinatory and alteration magics. If I were to teleport you outside of Colonel Keep, you would be ripped asunder. 
when you came in contact with the protective field. Trust me, child, this is the only way. Okay, what do we get? Oh, wait, we have all that stuff here. Chainmail plus one, medium shield plus one. That's all rather useless, actually. Fine. Very well. What's that? Chromatic orb confusion dimension door. Yes. As you direct. Again, a scorcher lightning bolt. What is your command? It is a fine day to die. Fireball, minor global vulnerability, monster summoning too. Identify. I take those. If I identify, I can come in handy. Okay, what's that? This door leads back to the upper levels of the keep. From the looks of it, it is heavily warded. Luckily, Tethra teleported you past such an obstacle. Common sense dictates that you should make your escape through the opposite door. No shit, really? What would you have me that would do be this one. You insist. And we are where? Below Candle Keep. All right, all right. Hello there. Hi, who the hell are you? Flydia. My book! You stole my book, you cursed! What the fuck? What are you? A doppelganger. Oh, you like 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 A dead doppelganger. Your wish? Okay, so I guess it's time to take a break. And we will do that now and continue in the next video so thank you very much for watching and see you soon bye